ya liko president wa Amerika Barack Obama ya tusena kula gulu mguangali ya Kenya kubugenya utari butongole. Obama ya soko kuchala kumu Kenya mbili mukaga. Ngachari senator wa mbako wa parliament ya Amerika. Atolvo nyo na achala kumu mguangali ya president wa Amerika mbili kuminetano. Wanu mbitundu ya mbili ya chademu kubugenyi wano kwa kule cheko gole. Ngachari nchi chifo chitawe Obama senior ya zali wa aguda chifo chibia mizanyo. Echata nikibu wao ilanga chidu kanyizu wa mwanyina auma banu baga tanya abwe. Obama akamati msanyi fukuda mwa kuchala mguanga lino ya Kenya na te. It is a joy to be back with so many people who are family to me and so many people who claim to be family to me. <laughs> Today I'm really coming as a brother, uh, as a, a citizen of the world, as someone with a connection to Africa, to talk about the importance of what she's doing, uh, but also to create a larger context for what's possible. Obama tegeza nga bantu wanjo mwini na wafuka mwengali Amerika. Mwivasa ulo kuwako yu waigira kukenya. Mwato nasa wana wafuka mkenya. Mwato kwa gena mbudu nga chita yu ya kola. Kwaange mikisa mingi. Ejiru kati yu wa kuita mwengu ya kulanya. Nga wali mwengali ya wili ya Kenya. Kenya has made extraordinary strides in recent decades. The barriers to progress that a young Kenyan faces today aren't as rigid as the ones that might have faced previous generations. A young Kenyan doesn't have to do what my grandfather did and serve a foreign master. A young Kenyan doesn't have to do what my father did and leave home in order to get an education. So there's been real progress in this amazing country. And it should inspire today's young Kenyans to demand even more progress. Happened before. It's going to be their voices that will help determine whether or not our leaders are held accountable. It's going to be their voices who are going to determine whether or not Kenya comes together, regardless of tribe and ethnicity, to build a better future. Obama, Australia, Ogenam South Africa.